Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and my question today is are we in a AAA battery renaissance or are we just not ready to let go of this dying technology? The AAA battery has a very low amount of energy inside the thing. I mean batteries are terribly inefficient already and then you put it in such a small compartment like this that's uh, you know designed to be disposable and it just there's not a lot going on in here. Um, however, the efficiency of a lot of our devices is such that the AA or N AAA batteries now do actually have significant run life. You know, time that they're they're on or either producing a lot of light or in this case, uh, you know, a little light for a long time. Now, a lot of times, um, I get packages of these AAAs in doubles and or singles, doubles and triples for a lot of sensors and devices, uh, multimeters, um, various measuring instruments. They still come with AAA. Most of these, believe it or not, are not good batteries. Yeah, you already knew that. What they're, they're designed for is essentially showing somebody how the tool works and then replace it with something good once you've, you know, purchased the tool um, or the sensor. But there are some really kind of outstanding batteries like these Energizer Ultimate Lithiums that have incredibly long shelf lives that actually do perform very well in cold weather. And, um, you know, they, they, they do have plenty of juice to power, most in most cases, lights. Um, and here are some AAA lights. Most of these, are the, these are all singles except for this one. This is a double here. Uh, might do more with double AAA lights. Found that <laughs> fun to say. Um, but overall, I often have um, some sort of a AA and AAA light handy. These AAAs uh, can be pricey. Here's a Surefire. This little guy is over a hundred bucks for a Surefire AAA light. Uh, not super high performance, but what I often um, look at is if, can you basically walk fast through the woods with something like this without walking into a tree or stumbling over rocks or roots? Does it produce enough light? And in all of these cases, the answer is yes. Now, there are plenty of other options for rechargeable lights, for double A lights, um, you know, the, these little O lights are just outstanding, yet they're, <laughs> if you look at that, they're about the size of a, of a double A battery and you get a, a powerful light with a rechargeable, uh, with the rechargeable battery. But sometimes you want to be able to swap the batteries and that's where the double A and triple A come in and the triple A's are terribly small, just outstanding considering how much light in a replaceable battery uh, form factor you can get. And the new ones are are incredible. We're not talking the old mag light solitaires, maybe for those of you old enough to know about those. They had a halogen light at the time. It was impressive, but it was a walk slow, hold this close to the ground kind of light in order to see. Um, but these new ones, amazing, absolutely amazing. The amount of power these things fire out. Um, the runtime is still short at the higher level, but you can certainly get a lot of use out of it. And then when you're using these kinds of lithium batteries, they're very similar to the lithium rechargeable batteries in that they die pretty quick. Um, in fact, rechargeable, AAA, I went through a phase, I used these a lot, now it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, Duracell's not a fan on this channel, they tend to corrode on me. But what's happened here is you get good runtime and then it just falls off, because that's a, a, a factor of lithiums, and then you know it's time to change versus if you are running, you know, like the standard uh, alkaline batteries or worse, one of the carbons or something else, and you start to get this slow decline, you know, into hospice as your light starts to weaken and then you're not sure is it dead or not. You turn it off and it turns on for another minute or two, you know, gasping. Anyway, sorry about that. But overall, using the high-end batteries, which by the way are very expensive, in fact sometimes more expensive than the lights, which is interesting, but you can get good battery life, you can get long battery life, you can get cold weather performance, you can get long-term storage, and you get way more light than kicked out of one of those old 2D cell mag lights. 
That one might last a little longer, but this is going to be higher quality light. It's going to be much better the way it's lighting up the environment in front of you. Um, and you are going to get uh, all of that performance in something that is smaller than one of the single batteries that the multiple battery, multiple battery D cells used to take. And we got along fine with those because we didn't know any better. Um, it also allows you to store the batteries, to carry the batteries. In fact, here's a Maxpedition um, kind of a battery pouch where I've got some different size. I've got one, two, threes, the CR one, two, threes, the triple A's, and then a pile of double A's. Um, all ready to go to power a bunch of devices. But overall, um, I think personally that double A's are here to stay, especially in the, the higher performance ones. But I do think that the question needs to be brought up, you know, how long are we gonna, you know, basically kick a dead horse? Is it dead? Um, is it just convenient? What's the reason? Is it being driven by industry that likes to throw in a little bit of these you know, or a few of these really cheap batteries so they don't have to put a, a rechargeable cell in or give you some high quality ones. I used to judge tools by, did they come with real batteries or did they come with these, you know, overseas kind of knockoffs that you really didn't want to keep around. Um, but anyway, what are your thoughts on, on triple A batteries? I think double A is going to be around. It's, a, it's a quite a bit more power if you look at the size. Um, but a little tiny AAA, I mean, it's like a big watch battery in a lot of ways. Um, and that's an alkaline, but if you went with one of the lithium cells, uh, to me, that's a whole different ball game. And that's why I think we're more in a, in a AAA battery renaissance. Let me know your thoughts. And with that, Doc out.